Hi everyone, the Pokemon Fan 993 here, back more Pokemon Legends Arceus. During the last episode, we ended up going through further into the Crimson Mire Lands. I believe that's what the place is called. And now we have to go to the mound to find Ursaluna's Lair, which I think we're pretty close because we ended up doing a task for this guy right here yet last time called Oda, Odo. And he made, it was nice enough to make us a camp here. So, um, I'm anticipating what I have to do next, because as soon as I probably get to, um, the Warden, they're probably going to challenge me, and I remember her having a B-Barrel, which means they're probably going to have to use Luxio, who has a type of advantage over her, that B-Barrel. So, we're going to see what ha else happens today. This is the mound here. Is there a way to get up there, or do I have to, like, crawl up the side? I have to crawl up the side. Okay. We're here. Over here, Phoenix. Ursula has a rage, yes, but he must still recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestial Flute. Mm. Um. Oh, there is something happening. I was like, he's not showing up, but... Oh, wow. Now show your medal to Ursaluna. But remember, Ursula's a very dear to the Pearl Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. He doesn't look... Like, he doesn't look particularly dangerous, but not like the other one was. So I thought I had to fight her and be barrel. This is fine. I can work with this. Level 26. Okay, so we're not too far off. Start with the Thunder Fang, see how much that does. Because I do not know Ursula's type of it. Okay, so it is part ground, right the bat. So I chose a very bad starting Pokemon. And Luxio was gone. <laughs> I did not realize it was part ground. All right, that's... I probably should have figured that because of the Crimson Mireland, but if he is ground, we do have an advantage over him with several Pokemon. So let's switch to B Barrel. Ah, oh, crap. I did it again, didn't I? Hang on a sec, guys. <laughs> That's why I couldn't hear nothing, because I forgot to put the audio cord back in when I used my Switch. So that's why no one could hear anything, because I'm an idiot. Anyway, that's back. I was wondering why I couldn't hear anything going on. Aqua Tail, but he avoided it. Go no for... Sla Ooh, Slash. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Come on, Aqua Tail, hit. How much damage is that going to do? Wow. Half. Not bad. Slash again. Baby Arrow's gone. So I'm guessing, because it's, it's supposed to be... Um, Earth Rings of one of Earth Rings of all forms. The other typing it has is normal, so um, Magic Leaf, whatever I have, whatever grass type move I have, should work well against it. Magic Leaf also never misses, so that's a bonus. Sweet. All right, we got him. Couldn't catch him because against the rules, but whatever. So everyone leveled up. It looks like Point on move, Master to move. Well, obviously, with the exception of the two Pokemon that knocked out. You're still in my poor darling. You must be exhausted from running around like that. Come, let me make you all better. I have special medicine here of the Pearl Clan. They throw out any poison in a Pokemon's body. It's poison, it poisons what's causing Ursula's rage. Then it's sure to calm him. We call it Toxigon. Black. <laughs> so pun that we can only use it on the tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursaluna. There, there, dear Ursaluna, you've come down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. It really, he really wasn't frenzied. Very stupid of you, the Alpha Team Recruit. You're exactly right. When you quell Clever's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. No such light erupted from Ursaluna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. But what's this queen to Ursaluna's call? It seems to be some kind of powder. The girl from Diamond Cotton, Azuru. Now, what'd she call? She of all people find... Now, why did she help people need to f find the need to come to tell me Ursula, I wonder? But I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestial for me, for me, would you? Ursula opened his heart and learned well from the sound of you playing. Receive the Earth Point for Ursaluna. Earth Point, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of Earth. When you use a Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the ground type. 
Your Zolan is very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We say he's digging for treasure even if the treasure might always glitter or gleam. Now let your commander know what's fired here, child of the galaxy team. You can now call Ursula and dig for treasure. Ursula may rush toward any treasure he sets in front of him. Press the Y button to dig for treasure. When Ursula finds a spot that makes him react strongly, you might find something very nice. I was wondering what he would be used for. Okay, so should I, like, walk all the way back? No, my Pokemon are already hurt. I probably shouldn't do that. Let's go back the regular way. Um, crossed over there. Past this lazy on ruins. I probably shouldn't ignore that for the moment. Head back to the Myrowinds camp, the first Myrowinds camp that we made. And now we will head back toward uh, Jubilife. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that first, aren't I? I see you made some new observations. It seems to be important order, if you would. Yeah, we've already talked about all this before. All right. Yeah, only 20 points because I didn't get much going. Return to the village. With the security cords setting us, it would be a nice, safe trip back to Jubilife. Question tomorrow is if we able to record today or not because my mic was acting weird. But so far, I don't think nothing ha else has happened for it. There you are. You better hurry to the commander's office. That didn't sound very good. Uh, sounds like trouble, possibly. Let's make a race there. Pardon me, coming through. Ignoring you for the moment, sir. Oh, we have one person here I recognize, one person I do not. Oh, I think I know who the other guy is, actually. Yep, that's Benny. Phoenix, we have a situation here. Let me explain. We'll get our cl clan's right ra of the Lich is in a frenzy, and our Zuru no one kept it, this from me. A Lilligant. Yes, there are only female Lilligant, which makes the on one which makes this one the honor lady of the ridge. But this isn't time for a cultural lesson. I'd like you to find out what Azura was thinking, but she's no she's nowhere in Jubilee Village. Last time I saw she was at the Wallflower polishing off the big old plate of potato mochi. Not, not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. If Azura the Democrat is somehow involved in the situation that's with the raging Ursaluna and the Pearl Clan, I could lead the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do put up a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? We'll be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we show support to one side, it'll put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. For all we are put in to treat one another's equals to keep us from fighting. So it's been no surprise if you refuse to intervene, intervene to trouble where you were to break out again. Phoenix, perhaps you have some idea on how I might address the situation. I could call her Saluna. Or Saluna. So he and the Warren's Clay have found you worthy. That's perfect, then. Ursula should be able to go at Zuru wherever she's gone. If you're strong enough that Ursula deemed you worthy, then you should be ready to quell Lilgan's frenzy as well. I hold the Lilgan seat, the Br Brava area, if it's called, if you'll excuse me. So it looks like Azura might be uh, causing some mischief. Also, well, Phoenix, you may quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to people of Hasui. Remember, always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. Ryan, Ursula, and follow the blue signals to sniff out Azuru in the Crimson Mire lands. How much money do I have? 9,800. I mean, I have enough Pokeballs and everything. I'm just wondering, like, it, can I... I probably should get more upgrades from this guy. How much? 2,000. Yeah, I'm only going to do it once. Maybe later. Alright. So we got Ursa Luna probably we're out in the field and we have to figure out where Az Azuru or Az I always forget that how to say that name because I forget if it's A R Z U or A Z R U. Because it, you switch one letter around and it has different meaning. Um I guess we'll worry about that for now. Is there any new requests in the village? There is one. 
and that is over here somewhere. I'd love to find that one Bidoof and finish that one quest, but I got ticked off and I don't want to do that again. Maybe eventually I'll explore the rest of the village. Maybe I'll eventually find the last Bidoof. So I know where I couldn't have checked, though. I can't get a good night's sleep like this. Oh, that's, um... Who is that? She looks... She looks like Karen from the Elite Four from, I think it's generation... Second generation of Pokemon. Don't scare me like that. Something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. Whatever you need, come back later, all right? Are you all right? Hmm, maybe server court tights could figure out what's causing this. Look, I'm out of my corners when I'm trying to sleep at night. It feels feels like I'm not alone in there. Sometimes there's, there's this kind of crack, crackling sound. I, f I found burnt bears a couple times, and once in a while I hear something clatter. Server corpse kids, go serve my quarters. F figure out what's happening. Request 16, strange happenings at midnight. Burn bears would mean I gotta imagine it'd be some, a work of a fire type. Just do it at night, would you? I gotta be at work during the day. Oh, perfect. I can actually do it now, then. I... I am ready. I swear there's something coming... Something in there. Check every nook and cranny for me, okay? Hmm... Well, let's look around here. Investigate. Then we f full of neatly folded uniforms. Hmm, a cupboard. That could have something in it. Closet door is open just cracked. Do you want to take a peek inside? Yes, I do. Some weird clothes and a cape inside. Guess nothing too crazy then. Sliding windows are slightly jarred as if they've been recently moved. Hmm. I'm going to take a peek inside, I guess. Is it going to say the same thing? Architectural models. There's a model of Gyarados Skulltron. Perhaps it's an early design for Galaxy Hall. There's a cloth drapely, neat, neatly draped over the mirror. Draw it back. Nothing, apparently. A, the full of rolled up architectural plans. The skull, sketch of a Magikarp here, too. Perhaps it's a part of the plans for Galaxy Hall. Anything else I haven't explored? Cloth has been pulled to one side, and is that hair on the hem a short black hair? It definitely sounds like a Pokemon. Yeah, so I think I've explored all of this. Um, I don't see the request coming up anymore, so maybe I did fi finish the quest. Does it seem like you saw a mystery at Need a Break or something? No. Okay, so I guess I'm not done yet. Um, where else haven't I checked? Oh, I haven't checked, like, around... No, what, what haven't I checked? Still the same thing. Oh, this. The faint smell, it smell, seems like berries have been present here. There's noise from the entryway. Oh, from the entryway, meaning that I bet you it's the, I bet you it's this right here. Yep. Here's something from beneath the cloth. Draw it back. Crackle, crackle. It says sparks fly for a moment. It seems like something ran be by you. There's noise from back near the closets. We're going to take a peek. There's some weird clothes and a cape inside. Okay, that's not the right cupboard. That must be this one. Yes, I'm going to take another peek. Okay, so maybe it's by the door window? Face mouse seems like bears have been present here. Okay. Where haven't I checked, though? Mirror, maybe?
Where haven't I checked, though? Oh! I didn't see that. That's a peach. That's a peachy right there. Hello? Hi. So, of course, are you right? I heard this strange noise. Wait a minute. This Pichu, could it be? I sound sir, but I th think this might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. A berry for me? What? Because I fixed you up? Wait, so the thing haunting my coils was a grateful little Pichu? Because all the worrying was pointless to think I was afraid of something, s some spine-chilling thing. Regards, I owe you. Have a token of my gratitude. Request number 16, three times in the night complete. Nana Berry times seven. Okay, let's check. I don't think I have any Nana Berries as of yet. Let's see. Apple Berry. A berry that can be fed to a Pokemon destroys HP up to a third of its max. A wild Pokemon will be calmed if it eats one of these berries. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go. Let's get back out there. Um, I guess we'll go out and we'll try to look for uh, as whatever the heck our name is. It has an A and a Z in it. <laughs> Are they more requests, by the way? I didn't even bother checking. So I just did one. There might be another one coming around. I guess not. thought maybe there was, but I guess not. Okay, so we have to go... Wow, that's quite far. Go to the Crimson Iron I guess we call it Ursulino for... Er, yeah, that one from there. Girl sent out early. Must have been eating some of Benno's, Benny's potato machi. I can still smell them on her. That reminds me, I haven't seen Mr. Cowboy. I've seen Ms. around on the Ursula she serves, digging for treasure in the ground. Mark Ursula used the same sense of smell to, to suss out where the treasure might be. Ursula now follows Azura's set. Follow the blue signals to find her. So I have to call her with the flu. Is that what I'm getting at? What's it mean? Oh, I see. I see. It took me a minute to figure out what the hell they were talking about when they said that. It seems to change color when I'm going in a, in a good and a smart direction. I hope there's this wisp up there, but I don't think I can get. I, th I have to go around the. No, not in the water. Around the water. How do I get around the water? <laughs> Now it's really me back here. What what direction am I going in here, then? It said follow the blue waves, though. These are all, like, pink and orange and stuff. I got hit. There we go. Point me toward this direction. Woo. They're hard to control, aren't you? I have to get up there somehow. Can you get up there? No, it looks like I have to find a way up. Over here, maybe? Yep. Now what? I can't go any further. I managed to get up here somehow. Maybe it's not up there. Maybe it's over here is where it's leading me, trying to lead me.
Oh, crap, that Tangrowth got me. Pardon me. I'm just going to ignore you. Run. Quickly. Pick that up. Still following me? Trying to. All right. It says I have to go up there, but I don't know how to get up there. Like, there's... I'm not really sure what to do here. Um, I need some kind of move in order to get up there, but I can't... I'm lost. Run right back into that frickin' Tangro, though. Yep. Not now, guys. Maybe to examine that rock, maybe I could do something about that if I examine it. Piss off, Carmine. Let me have a look at my map. There's got to be another way to get over there. Yeah, I can get to Sludge Mound. Does that mean I have to, like, maybe I should go to Sludge Mound and head in that direction from there? I mean, that would be my best guess. Okay, let's try this. Try it from this direction, then. Okay, which direction do you want me to go here, bud? I'm sure I'm almost I'm going this way. So look at that blue wave, though, like... Okay, I don't know what's happening, but now I can't control my camera very well. See, it said follow the blue waves, but now I, it doesn't matter which direction I'm moving, I don't see any of those. Get up here, it looks like. Alright, let me have a look at my frickin'. Head back to the camp. Look at the map real quick before we go running off. Let's try going this way. There we go. Now the waves are blue again. Pardon me, fellas. Can I go in the... Yes, I can. This way. Well, he's really speeding up. The satchel? Nice. Wasn't even looking at that for that. That's cool, though. Okay, so... Control... Camera, quit doing that. Oh. Hi there. Oh, Phoenix. How did... How did it all go with Ursaluna? 
I helped, I calmed them down. Wow, you're real Aristotle. How'd you find me all the way out here? Ursulina found you. You tried me all the way from here for the scent I ate for the potato mochi I ate? Ursulina's something. I know he's descended from one of the Pokemon that were blessed by all my sin, but still, wow. Looks run out, though, as you can t most likely tell. I got chased by a Pokemon that sprained my ankle pretty bad as I was running away. It's almost like the whole world wants to punish me. Ah, there you are. As a root, right? <laughs> Mr. Shkaba, uh, I, I didn't... I owe you an apology. I for due disrespect, thinking you were just some whelp from the Diamond Clan. I'm sorry for that. I should have treated you better. Huh? B wait, but... It's not your fault that, that Lil again became frenzied, nor the was one with rage. You were trying to catch to help them both, weren't you? I didn't even think have a courtesy to listen to you. You... You'd think someone who's lived as long as I have would be more patient. It's okay. I didn't do my j a job explaining myself either. Ursula only started acting weird after he got too close to Wilga and smelled her perfume. It was already frenzied at that point, so I'm sure that's what caused it. I thought I explained the strange powder I found at Ursula. It must have been power from Lilligant. What happened to your leg, dear? I was gathering ingredients to make bombs, but I fell and sp sprained my ankle. See, the reason I went to Jubilee was to get help for Ursula and also learn about crafting. When I was there, I bumped into Professor Levington and he told me about the bombs you used to quell Cleavor. I thought I'd make some for Olga using her favorite foods. You guys people know all sorts of things. I'd, I'd like to learn even f more from you, really. For well, I better take care of the lady and get all the mess resolved first. Adamin. What are you thinking doing this all to yourself? Didn't you think I couldn't help you? Though, no one will blame you for thinking so. Not much of a leader, am I? I've never seen Almighty, even seen Almighty still with my own eyes. I failed to be, imagine the Logan would become frenzied too. Listen up, Phoenix. I'll take the bomb that Ezra made you and meet you back at the Brava area. Don't you worry, Ezra. Phoenix will calm Logan, and that'll be that. That should settle down. Head to Brava area, Phoenix. That's where Logan's seat lies. Ezra will be taken care of. My dear Bibro, and I will make sure she reaches her lady. Okay, so I, can I, like, manually head back there now? So it wasn't... That wasn't the Pokemon I was looking for. I had a feeling that wasn't... The, okay, so I had to go to Vibra, which looks like I have to cut through a couple of places here. So I think I'm going to... My Pokemon aren't hurt, so I'm going to end the episode here, I think. And I'm going to resume it during the next playthrough. Let's grab... Hang on, let's grab... Yes, a thank you gift. 52 merit points. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank everyone for watching. This is the Pokemon Fan 1993 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.